In this week's episode of Working With Todoist, it's all about the next actions label. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working With Todoist. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to talk about the brilliance of the Next Actions label. Now for those of you guys who don't know, the Next Actions label is a label that comes from David Allen's Getting Things Done book. Now in David Allen's book he doesn't call it a label, he actually calls it a context but it means the same thing essentially. And what it means is the very next action that needs to take place on a project in order to move the project forward. Now in theory any action that has not completed is a next action. But if you actually simplify that a little bit and only allow one next task to take to be your next actions label then it becomes an incredibly powerful label within your Todoist system. Now it's okay I can try and explain this by talking to the camera but I think it's going to be much easier if I go into Todoist but before we do that I would just like to say if you like this episode please click on that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Todoist and I will show you exactly what you can do with the Next Actions label. Okay, so if you're not using the Next Actions label, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding dates to every single task and it's going to look a bit like this. Just a ridiculous number of tasks with dates that are, particularly if they're in the future, are just going to be random tasks. And that's not something that you actually want to do. So let's go into my demo account here and let me show you how you can use your next actions label. Now the first one that I would use uh, is let's say this project organized office renovation doesn't actually have a specific start date because I'm waiting for something to happen. So what we're going to do here is we are going to just add the next actions to this label. Um, and just hit return. So that's now in. Now the thing is once that's in I don't actually need to do anything else with it. Now the key with next actions is don't put next actions on all your tasks. Just the very next task in a project. So we've got prepare annual business plan. Now there's nothing in here at the moment so let's just say um, arrange meeting with team and uh, do PowerPoint presentation uh, and let's just say we've got these two tasks here. Now let's imagine that this is now got a date. Now if this has got a date for say Monday next week I wouldn't actually add the label next actions because the idea behind the next action is it doesn't actually have to have a date. So although the temptation is to add the next actions to this particular task because it hasn't no date this the next action realistically is this one which is arrange meeting with team you can't do the power presentation powerpoint presentation until you've spoken to the team so don't put next actions label on it simply because you can't do anything about it the whole point with the next actions is that it actually creates a list a, a short list of things that you can actually do. So in this particular example here, I cannot do the PowerPoint presentation until I've had the meeting with my team, which is on Monday. Now, once, <clears throat> once I've arranged that meeting with the team, I can then click off that. But again, we now have a problem because uh, I can't do the presentation until after the meeting. So I'm not even going to add, so let's just say it's Monday now, I've arranged the meeting, that's done. I'm not going to add the next actions label to this because there's nothing I can do. Remember, the key point about the next actions label are the actions that you can actually do. 
So go back to the original one here. I've got the next actions in here. The key there is don't date it because your next actions list is a list that you should get into the habit of looking at every single day. Now, another thing that you want to do with your next actions label, I'm just going to go down here. I'm going to just add uh, some of these here. So um, let's just type in next actions to this one. And I will put in the next actions here because I actually want to show you a an example of what's going on here. So I'm going to save that and uh, winter skiing holiday, which we did last week. So um, let's going to add the next actions to this. OK, so what we've done here is I've created a number of next actions in there. I'm going to close my projects list. I'm going to go to the label next actions. What you will see is that this is now in order. Actually, if this didn't have a let's just remove that label and we'll go back into my projects. So what you will see here is organize office renovation, which is here. Now get out into the countryside and run. I actually I should do this a bit better for you. Um, OK, we should now have this in the correct order. Oh, no, it hasn't come into the correct order because uh, it's got a date. <laughs> Take the date off. But anyway, if this didn't have a date, <laughs> <laughs> this is the beauty of doing things live. Way now it's moved. Now, if you see that it's actually moved, what you'll notice is if I just open up my projects again now, and you'll see that office re renovation is at the top, prepare your business plan is next in line. And you'll see that this is in that order that you have there. Health and fitness is in my personal, and that comes down here, which is the next one. And then I think we've got, let's go back to my labels and yeah, we've got research, which is in the someday maybe folder, which is right down at the bottom of my projects list. So these actually come in order of your project order, as long as you don't have a date or a flag, just keep that one in mind. So once you've got, there shouldn't be a flag on a next actions anyway, and there shouldn't be a date. So therefore, this is what the list you would have. So the most important project that you have is at the top of the list and then it descends down to the least important. Now one more thing before I finish this is when you're in your labels what I would strongly recommend is you add this to favorites. Now once you add this to favorites you don't have all that messing around that you've just seen because now you see I can just switch into my next actions folder at any time next actions label at any time and it's going to come up in the order of the next one. So although during the day I probably have all my important tasks as you can see when you look at my I have my today's objectives and I have today's focus which is on here in my um, in my regular favorites and then I have my next actions. So in a way as I mentioned in a previous video you create this workflow so you get your objectives done for the day then your today's focused and then you move into the actual next actions. But the beauty of this is you don't have all the you don't need to date everything. You just need to date you just need to add the label the very next action you need you add the label next actions tool and then throughout the day if you've got that workflow working with your objectives and with your focus tasks and then you can move into your next actions then that way you can keep your list down to keeping them in a small list of things which ultimately means that you're going to be much more motivated to get on with the work because when you see a list which if I go back to this one here which is my Alter. If you come in the morning and see a list as long as this, you're just going to feel really, really quite stressed about it. And you're not going to feel very motivated. So this way you can actually keep your list short, which gives you much more motivation to hit the day with power. And so that you can get all your objectives, your focus tasks done, and then you can move into your next actions, which will give you that feeling that you're moving forward constantly with all your projects. Okay, hopefully that's given you some good ideas on using the Next Actions label. Don't forget, don't date it and don't flag it. It wants to be just quite simple so that when you go into the list, it's just the very next action that you can do right now in all of your projects. Just one task from each project. Thank you very much for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd just like to tell you about my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Now, if you are new to productivity or even if you're an old hand to productivity systems, this beginner's guide is designed especially for you. It's around about a one hour long online course that will give you all the tips and tricks that you need to build your very own productivity system so that you can start focusing in on the things that are important to you and start building a life that you can be very happy with. I just want to say thank you again so much for watching this video and I hope you join me in my free beginner's guide to building your own productivity system. Details on how to enroll in that course are in the show notes below or you can click up there or on the, on the, the video link there. It'll give you all the details that you need to get yourself into this course. Thanks again.